you're going to need to do is go to linuxgamecast.com, Android How To, and have a look at ADB on Linux. Two or three minute, quick and dirty, how to. But once you've done that, you will have Android SDK Linux on your desktop. And from here, we need to go over to SourceForge and download a copy of Android Screen Capture. Let's go ahead and open that archive and put it on the desktop. Now we're going to go into our Android SDK Linux folder and into Platform Tools because we need to copy ADB back to an older location. Go into Tools and you can see ADB has moved. So let's put it back. And we'll go to the Android screen capture and you'll see that it's ashot.jar. It's an archive. So in order to launch this, let's open a terminal. It's really simple. Java space dash jar start out star and that'll launch the jar file inside Android screen capture. There's a few configuration options. Let's go to file. You'll have the option to set capture folder and by capture all this does is image sequences. You'll get no video but you do need to set your SDK folder which should be here on your desktop. Point it to that, click OK. A few options. You can ignore those. Defaults usually OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect my device. Now this is one of the catches is the refresh rate. You get about one and a half frames a second. So you're not going to be able to use this to show off video. And there's not going to be any audio going through it, but if you need it for a presentation, it might work. And it's not because of a slow device, you know, a dual core, 1.3 gigahertz tablet. But then again, the native resolution for my screen is 1280 by 800. So you might get a little bit faster response on a smaller um, phone. But we want to record. So let's open a terminal on the desktop. We're going to use something that's in all Linux distributions. FFmpeg. And I'm sure there's three distributions that it's not in. You can send me email about that. But you need to make note of this one line here. That is your native desktop resolution. And in this recording, I'm running at 1280 by 720. But you want to adjust that to whatever you're running. And just hit Enter. And you'll see you'll have an Output 1 MP4. This is recording your entire desktop. So from here, go to Enter Full Screen. And now you're recording your tablet. We can take a look around. There's not much going on, but we'll just do this for demonstration purposes to give you an idea of how slow it really is. But you can go to Google+. Plus. I think we'll go into a website and I'll pull up some email to show you direct feedback. Let's take a look. And this is just twit.tv's full desktop site. And let's type something out. Hello from Linux. Now. 
I'm just going to go and close out our screen capture. And you can close the terminal. Now, the recording, just hit Control C. That'll stop that. And if everything worked, your output 1.mp4 should have everything on it. Let's take a look in VLC. And of course, you'll want to edit. But it looks like it worked. Skip around a bit. Not the best option, but it's the free option and it's the open source option. So, hopefully, that was a bit of help. Enjoy.